Okay, so with the recent release of Where's Wally and with its predecessor, Where's Larry, the game that blew up for other content creators, except for me, thanks YouTube algorithm, I got curious as to why each one of these games were portraying the idea of Waldo as evil. My research into this topic led me to a YouTuber called Lumpy who basically started this genre of Waldo being evil and this led me to investigate the original character of Waldo because believe it or not I have never seen this character before and no it's not because I'm AI as commented by my recent viewers as well as Vanos. So I searched through the ancient archives and found that Waldo was granted a magical cane from an old wizard that allows him to teleport through time and has dated two twin sisters who own a dog named Wolf and also has an arch nemesis called Old Law, which is, a, which is just Waldo spelled backwards. I did not find anything horror related in the original works by Martin Hanford except for those Bosch paintings that are eerily creepy in nature. So I would assume that you all are weird to find entertainment in children's characters being turned evil, but you're not alone as Lumpy's Where's Waldo is actually quite interesting despite being in the terror genre. So the series starts off as quite innocent with the screen prompting you to search for Waldo at an apparent train station. It's all pixelated and such and once the timer runs out, you see the horror. Waldo turns out to be a serial killer and you are apparently a detective trying to catch him but you fail miserably judging from the body counts increasing at the end of the stage or episode or whatever you like to call this short is, is actually a YouTube short and also it's confirmed by the fact that you can clearly see the two bodies while searching for Waldo not gonna lie Waldo looks like he has a case of Marfan syndrome with how long his limbs are then comes the second stage and we come across Waldo in the downtown district where Waldo has apparently killed the detective's former predecessor and hid him inside a post box which you can see during the search segment along with a car crash and glowing red eyes inside a manhole. Now funny thing, these red eyes actually belong to Waldo. Now I know it does not make sense yet, but it will soon. The third stage takes us to a campground where Waldo deliberately gets caught by the detective only to pull a joker on us. <laughs> Revealing that he has planted four bombs, which are here, 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 and here. Waldo escapes as the detective works to disarm the bombs by reviewing the footage on YouTube Shorts. Angered by the fact that the detective had to rewatch these videos to find the bomb, the detective decides it's time to bring out the horse tranquilizers to stop Waldo because his wife finds him a stallion. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. The detective shoots, but the pissed off Waldo uses his telekinesis to stop the darts and teleports away in a very cold manner, leaving behind a message telling the detective to not embarrass himself by doing these cheap tactics, which is ironic considering that he has a cane which he uses to teleport. Stage 5. You have to find Waldo again and oh he's right there. Waldo, Waldo, Waldo. You have to do better than that. Wait. Why are there two arrows all of a sudden? There's two Waldos now? What the hell? Oh my god, bro. Oh hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Yeah, apparently there's multiple Waldos existing throughout this universe. So if you guys remember, previously I mentioned that in stage 2, the glowing red eyes belong to Waldo. And it was mainly due to this reason, because it was another Waldo that was hiding inside that manhole. 
This allows them to be at multiple places at the same time. And what's more surprising is that there's another Waldo hidden inside the tent just looking at the detective. Then comes stage 6 and this stage is truly a cinematic horror masterpiece as we see Waldo hunting a man and brutally killing him. It is also in this part where we find four Waldos ganging up on this man before leaving behind an invitation for the detective to find. Throughout this segment, what I was feeling could be summarized by this one comic. The invitation turns out to be a date with Waldo at a restaurant where the detective asks Waldo three questions. How many Waldos are there? Why are you doing this? And the final question, which is obvious if you've seen the videos, and that is, where's Waldo? The first question's answer is that there are five Waldos, four of which we have seen murdering in stage 6 and one other which we will see in the finale. The second question's answer is kind of weird because it implies that Waldo is part of an entity or a new species. Well, not species, but how do I put it into words? It's basically similar to the Council of Ricks in Rick and Mort. These Waldos are working on curing cancer as well as doing other experiments, which is the reason why it's complicated to answer as to why he's a serial killer. And then comes the final question. Where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? basically implying that the Waldo that invited the detective is not here, which arouses this Waldo, causing him to reveal that they are at his home. We then cut to the footage of the detective's house, showing the three Waldos entering it and murdering the detective's wife, Wenda. Yes, Waldo's girlfriend from the original, who has a twin sister named Wilma. You're fired! You'll fire me, but you won't fire Wilma? Who's Wilma? No, like seriously, she does have a sister named Wilma Dick. The detective also has a son named Junior who survives the wall doing. Also, funny thing I noticed, Venda's segment is shown on security cameras, which is a nod to the original taking pictures, which is also the reason why she has a camera on her tomb. Also, this guy, I know he's supposed to be the wizard that gave Waldo his magic cane, but I know he has a hand in his serial killings. He looks way too suspicious. Also, few years later, Waldo surrenders and is captured, which prompts the detective to take matters in his own hand and kill Waldo himself. So he infiltrates the base where he is kept, and here we also get to see the detective's face who awfully looks like Martin Hanford. Anyways, he breaks in using the wizard's keycard and discovers something plot twisty. The Waldo that surrendered is not Waldo, but Ordla, or Odla, or however you're supposed to pronounce this. Yeah, the color scheme in his prison outfit basically gave it away. He's also the fifth Waldo that is always absent from the other four Waldo's shenanigans. Anyways, he promises to help the detective find the Waldo that killed his wife as the season comes to an end.
Okay, so now that we've covered all of the episodes, let's see if we can figure out the story. Waldo is a serial killer who can see the future, so he's always two steps ahead. There's five of them, with one of them being Odla, who is basically the inverse of Waldo, not taking part in any of the killings. The Waldos are involved in some science experiments ranging from curing cancer to morality law experiments with something big cooking and the chief inspector is definitely somehow involved because he works in the science division of the TUC and I do not know what TUC stands for. And judging from this, science is part of the experiments that the Waldos are involved in, meaning that the cane that Waldo uses is not entirely magical. It could be something that he stole from or got from the science division of the TUC from this wizard looking guy. Anyways, Waldo has killed Renda, but her twin sister, Vilma, will probably appear in the next season. The detective is based on Martin Hanford, it's my own opinion, it's not confirmed, who is the creator of Waldo and has the last name Waldini as shown by Venda's tombstone. And he's also dumb to shoot Waldo as he can telekinetically stop projectiles. Okay, that last part was me ranting, but he could have a relation with the Waldos in some way. Okay, so now here's my theory. Waldo is basically Waldini Jr. or the detective's son who may or may not have gotten a scientific time-traveling teleportation cane from the head of the science division. This takes place sometime after the year 2030 as shown by the date on the cameras when Venda died. Okay, so Junior probably time traveled and caused a rift in the space-time continuum when he tried to save his mother, but instead it probably resulted in the end of the world, so now he has to keep the timeline intact by pulling an Aaron Jaeger. But this time travel may have also given way to Waldo finding alternative versions of himself who may be trying to help him or torment him meaning that Waldini Jr. could be old lord traveling back in time to ask for his father's help to defeat the other world. That's probably why he has who written behind him on his shirt meaning that who is Waldo. To which the answer is probably something like, Waldo is my son. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm eagerly waiting for the next season and see where my theory holds up. Until then, I will see you guys in the next one.